Hey, I'm David from Hybrid Racing, and in this video, we'll talk about our new K-Series Idler Bracket and Pulley Kit. We have two versions of the Idler Bracket and Pulley Kit, one specifically for the JDM K24A, and the other kit for really all other K-Series engines. So this is the JDM K24A specific uh, kit, and inside the box, you'll find it nice and neat, packaged with the K24 specific spacer, Hardware, this is going to be the pulley, your bracket, as well as the pulley spacer. The kit's actually really simple. The only difference between our two uh, separate part numbers is really just this spacer. If you have a K24A, you will need this piece. If you have a K20A, K20A Type R, uh, K24A2 TSX motor or something like that, you won't use this. So, to assemble the kit, it's pretty simple. You just use the spacer on here. You'll take your pulley, pulley spacer, put it on there. Your hardware kit. Bolts on here, just like this. And then, when you're ready to install it onto the engine, you'll use your two supplied mounting bolts, thread through that, straight to the water pump housing. So this is uh, both kits assembled. This is uh, part number HYB-IDB-0104. And this is HYB-IDB-0102. Some of the key features to the kit include the CNC machined aluminum brackets, the uh, high quality anodized finish. We use an OEM quality bearing in our pulley. Uh, and not only does the pulley look nicer and it comes with everything you need, but it also improves hood clearance. So it's gonna save you room between the top of the pulley like on a power steering pump. We also include a K24A specific bracket and application and all the hardware is uh, very strong 10.9 JIS. In addition to the pulley kits, we also offer four specific belts that are specific to the engine and the application. Now we'll install the pulley kits and explain how to choose the right belt. Measure the crank pulley to determine the outside diameter. Once you have that measurement, you can follow the chart on our website to determine which belt to use. Begin by installing the bracket using the supplied hardware. Next, install the pulley with the spacer and the supplied bolt. Align the spacer. Tighten the bracket to 16 foot-pound. Align the spacer and tighten to 47 foot-pound. Since we're installing this on a K20A2 RSX Type S engine, it uses a 50-inch belt. If you have a different size crank pulley or a different engine, refer to our website and use the information to determine what belt size you need. If you want to keep air conditioning, make sure the compressor's in place. The process to measure the belt is still the same, so follow the information on our website at hybridracing.com. Now measure the crank pulley to determine the belt size. Now the other kit we offer is for the K24A specifically and it uses this spacer which must be installed between the water pump housing and the idler bracket.
Use the supplied hardware to mount the bracket and then install the pulley, the pulley spacer, and the bolt. Torque the bracket to 16 foot-pound. Align the spacer and torque to 47 foot-pound. Since this is a K24A, it uses a 51.2 inch belt. If you have any other engine or any other size crank pulley, refer to our website for more information. HybridRacing.com